Hey guys, and welcome to the first lesson. I'm super pumped, I'm super excited to have you here to show you how you can build out your website and launch your online brand in one day. So to get started with lesson one, I'm gonna be showing you how to build your homepage. So to get started, jump on over to www.squarespace.com slash get started. And once you get that entered in, you'll be brought to the page like you see right here. And this will give you two options to get started with building out your homepage. You can start by browsing templates or you can start by building out a custom website. So the main goal of this entire lesson is to build out your website as quickly as possible. If you start with a pre-built template, it's just going to require a lot more work for you to go through and that's going to prevent you from launching your website quickly. So we're going to start by choosing this custom option over here. Next it'll ask you to fill in what the purpose of your website is. So just enter in custom website here, because for example, say you run an online shop and you type something like shop in here and click continue. Squarespace is going to recommend that you start with a pre-built template. So that's just going to require more work. Like I mentioned before, you can always switch to a template later on after we build out your website, but we want to keep this simple to get started. So head back and type in custom website here. This will allow us to move forward. So now it's going to ask which homepage layout do you want. So you have a few different options here to get started with. But again, remember, we want to keep this as simple as possible. We don't want to create a lot of content because that's just going to require more work from you to get this going. So I'm going to start with the most simple option here. So click that one and click continue. Now it'll ask which fonts would you like for your website. So you have a few different options here to get started with. So pick one that speaks to you and then click continue. Now it'll ask which pages do you need on your website. So you could build out some pre-built pages here, but again, that's gonna require more work from you to build out that content. So let's skip this section for now. You can always add these pages later on after you launch your website. The goal here is to keep moving, so click continue. Now it'll ask you if you wanna add a background image to your site. So you could type in something here related to your business to find an image. And if you find one that you like, go ahead and choose it and click continue. I'm going to show you in a little bit how you can add and change and select for more images later on. So if you don't find one that you like, that's fine. Just go ahead and click continue. So now Squarespace automatically built out your site for you. So let's get started with editing it. Click this button to continue. So sweet, welcome to your new site. To get started, let's click this button and continue. So here's your site. So the first thing to get started, let's do a few quick cleanup items to tidy this page up. So first, let's delete this down here. And another thing we wanna clean up is you can see this home link over here. I wanna get rid of that because it's not doing a whole lot for the site right now. So head on up here, grab your home page and drag it down to the non-link section of your website. You'll see now that this link disappeared. Next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is update your site title. So to do that, just hover over this top here and click edit. Now enter in your business name and click save. So now we can get into updating and laying out content on your page. So to do that, go to the pages panel, find the page that you want to update, and now we can click edit. So the first thing to do here is let's get rid of this button. We don't need it right now. And then you'll see these two different blocks here. So go ahead and delete both of those. Next, let's update this header here. So type in something that describes your business. And now I want to add a description down below to explain this header a little bit more, to explain my business some more. So hover over your page and find one of these icons here and click down. And now we're going to add a text block under here. So here is where you can type in a description or you can copy and paste it. So now that we have that in there, I'm going to take these two spacer blocks and put these on the side of both of my texts. Just want to get this lined up and now 
Grab those spacer blocks and space them out evenly on both sides. Now I can highlight this text here, click left align. Just gonna space these out a little bit more. And there, now our text is really aligned nicely and we have a nice design here. The next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is add a call to action or a form to your website. So if someone lands on this page, we want them to be able to get in touch with you. So to do that, click here and search form. Let's add that form in here and you'll see it builds it out. So to get started, let's give this form a new name. I'll say that you want to update this form to get someone's phone number as well when they fill this out. You can click add form field here and search for the phone number and add that in. And say you want to make that required to fill in before submitting the form, choose that here and click done. And if you want to arrange, rearrange any of these items, go ahead, click drag and drop and place it where you want it. Next we'll head over to storage. So when someone submits this form, we want to make sure it gets to the right email. So make sure this email here is where you want those notifications to get sent to. Next, let's head over to advanced. So now we can update the submit button label. So that's what you'll see right here. Let's make this something a little more human, a little more friendly. So let's type in here, leave my message. Next, update your post submit message. So this is what someone will see after they click submit or leave my message. So type in something here so they know what to expect after they fill in the form. And now let's scroll down and something really cool here that we're gonna do is enable this light box mode. And I'll show you how this works in a little bit, but first let's update this open button label and then click apply. So in order to see how this works, go ahead and click save and then click refresh. So now when we click on this button here, you'll see the form pop up in this light box. So it's a real cool way to have someone get in touch with you and so that this form doesn't take up your entire page. Now let's go back into edit mode and add some social icons. To do that, hover over here and type in social and grab the social links. Add that down there and let's align this left with the rest of our copy. You can update the size to make those icons a little larger. You can choose from different styles, and in order for you to see these a little bit better, let's, let's change this to light, and then click apply. So these aren't going to work right away until we connect your social accounts, but I'll share that with you in another lesson. So the last thing to take care of here is updating your banner image. So say you didn't like this image that you started with, we can update your banner image by going here and clicking banner. So say you don't want this image, go ahead and click delete. And here's where you can upload an image, say that you already have on your desktop that you like, or you can search for more stock images for free from Unsplash. So type in something here to find different images. Find one that you like, and then click add to site. So once you click save here, this new image will update in the background, but I do wanna share one more option for you, and that's the video background. So say you have a YouTube or a Vimeo URL for your business, you can copy and paste that URL here and it'll show on the background of your site. One thing to note, if you do go that route, make sure to update your mobile fallback image so if someone comes to your site on a cell phone, they'll see this image instead of the background video. But for now, I'm gonna continue with the image background and click save. So there we have it, we have our content nicely laid out, we added some social icons, updated your banner image. Now we're gonna update the styling of your homepage to make it more visually appealing for your visitors. So to do that, let's go back here, click design, and then site styles. So the first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is to add an image overlay color. So you can see right now this text is a little bit hard to read. So to do that, 
Hover over your website until you see this blue line around the entire section. Click down and then search for overlay color. Click there and then choose a section in the black area here and then grab this little icon and drag this over and you can see how this starts to get darker and it's easier to read your text. So I'm going to keep it there and now the next thing I want to do is update the size of this text here. It's a little small and hard to read. So choose that section, go into body text. First I'm going to update the weight so this will make it a little bit thicker, easier to read. And now I want to update the size here to about 18. So that looks good. Next I want to update this header here and shrink down the size of it. It's a little large so I'm going to go there and shrink this down to about 62. Now I want to update the color of this button here. The black doesn't really fit in with the rest of the site and it's hard to read. So click that button. You can start by choosing a style. So I really like the outline style. You can see it's outlined in black now. So I want to update this color to white so that it matches with my site. And now when you hover over this button and fills in white and really looks nice. Gives it a good feel to the rest of the site. Now I want to get rid of this footer. Right now it's not serving a purpose. We can always enable this later on. But for now, click your footer section. Choose that option to get rid of it. And the last thing I want to show you here is how you can center your site title. So click that section, go to brand new position, and choose bottom center. So click save, and now we're going to preview your final site, your final home page here. And there you have it. You successfully builded your home page, added some content, added a way to get in touch with you, uploaded your background image, and styled it to make it really really nice, visually appealing for visitors coming to your website. So go ahead, walk through this, complete your homepage. Once you get that done and completed, we'll walk through the next lesson to get you ready for launching your website.